Hello everyone, this is Eunice Leung. So for this particular video, we're going to be talking about object in motion. What are the physical quantities that is related to an object in motion? So we are going to start with a situation. Okay, so let's go to my slides. For this particular situation, all right, situation one, you are playing football with your classmates and you manage to get the ball. So logically speaking, once you get the ball, you'll be running towards the goal. So two, two players from the opposition teams actually come running to you as you run with the ball. Player 1 is 45 kg, while player 2 is 80 kg, both running towards you at 5 beats per second. If there is no other escape route, which means you can't pass the ball over to another friend, you just have to collide with one of them, who would you rather collide with? Your quick thinking would definitely choose this person who is much more smaller, the player 1 which is 45 kg. But why is that? Let's go to the second situation. All right. In the second situation, the next time you receive the ball, you find yourself in a different situation. Two players with opposition, uh, from the opposition team has the same mass of 45 kg. They have roughly the same figure. All right. But player 1 is running towards you at 1 meter per second. That's quite slow. Okay. While player 2 is running towards you at 5 meter per second. That's very fast. So once again, if there is no other escape route other than colliding with one of them, who would you rather collide with? Once again, I can definitely for sure, you would rather collide with someone slower because you know that colliding with someone slower, you will feel less of the impact. But what actually happened? All right. So that is actually what we are going to be learning today. Object in motion. Okay. So choosing to collide with a person who is actually smaller mass or who is actually running uh, at a lower speed that is because their momentum is much more smaller so what is momentum momentum is in daily life it is more commonly used in sports for example in the commentary of the sports game team a is going to win the championship they have the momentum if they continue at the current momentum they will be able to bring back the home trof uh, championship trophy we always hear the word momentum in sports. But what actually momentum means in physics? So momentum, uh, um, a way to say all objects have mass. So if the object is moving, then it has momentum. Or that is to say, momentum is a mass that is in motion. All right. So what is the real definition of momentum? Momentum is defined by the product of mass and velocity. All right, and the formula to calculate momentum is mass multiplied by velocity, or the symbol as P is the symbol for momentum, M is the uh, symbol for mass, and V is the symbol for velocity. So momentum's formula is P equals to MV. And from that, we can get the SI unit of momentum, which is kg meter per second. So the concept of momentum, momentum is a vector quantity. Recalling back vector quantity is a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. This actually means that the direction matters in momentum. So where's the direction of momentum? Direction of momentum follows the same direction of velocity. That's why the formula is velocity and not speed, because velocity is also a vector quantity. So from the definition, uh, from the formula, we also know that momentum depends on the mass and the velocity. So momentum formula mass multiplied by velocity, the equation is going to be the thinking guides for us to explain what happens. So an object has higher momentum if it has higher mass and higher velocity. So let's come to think again in this particular question. The mass of 50 kg uh, runner 1 has a mass of 50 kg running at 3 meter per second, while runner 2 has a mass of 75 kg running at 2 meter per second. So whose momentum is higher? All right, you'll be thinking higher mass, higher velocity, higher momentum. But over here, in order for you to find out whose momentum is higher, the easiest way is actually to calculate them. So whose momentum is higher? Runner 1, mass 50 kg, running at 3 meter per second. So over here, P equals to MV, M is 50 kg, velocity is 3 meter per second. So the momentum of runner 1 is 150 kg meter per second. 
while running to with a mass of 75 kg running at 2 meter per second from the formula p equals to mv mass 75 kg multiplied by velocity 2 meter per second the momentum of runner 2 is 150 kg meter per second so both runner have the same momentum they are not higher than one another let's try another question Runner 3 now is 75 kg running at 3 meter per second. Runner 4 has a mass of 75 kg standing at rest, whose momentum is higher. So, runner 3 moment, uh, using the formula momentum equals to mass multiplied by velocity. 75 kg multiplied by 3 meter per second, we get 225 kg meter per second. Runner 4 with a mass of 75 kg multiplied by 0 meter per second because that runner 3 is at rest. So the velocity is 0. Momentum for runner 4 is 0 kg meter per second. So in this particular situation, runner 3 has a higher momentum. Since runner 4 is at rest, it does not have any momentum since it doesn't have any velocity. So now you have known how to actually calculate momentum. All right, momentum is the product of mass multiplied by velocity. So when the velocity changes, momentum will change as well. Or the mass changes, momentum will change. So that's the end of this particular video. In the next video, we will talk about what happens when momentum changes. All right, so once again, if you actually liked what I'm actually doing, remember to click like on my video and hit subscribe button and click the notification button to follow for my next video. Till the next video, bye everyone.